What's up, man? Online, here we are. It is Friday, and we have been walking through the story of Jesus healing the paralytic. I've been reading it in Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. If you haven't been along for the ride, then you could always pause, read it if you want. I don't, I won't read the whole thing, but I just love this story. I, I love all the wackiness of it. Guys lowering a paralytic down to Jesus and people questioning and Jesus knows what they're thinking and he answers perfectly and forgives this guy's sins and he heals him. I want to focus in on that part right at the end where Jesus says to him, He's first he speaks to the, the teachers of the law, verse 10, but you may, but that you may know the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, verse 11, I say to you, rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And I think we're all always pumped like, yay, that's the moment, it's awesome. But I want you to remember that there's a crowd and I'm sure every single one of them have gone silent. And they're the friends who are looking in through the hole that they dug in these people's roof. It was a flat roof, that makes sense. So they, they're looking in and they're like, oh my gosh, Jesus said it. But notice that Jesus speaks. He doesn't pick him up. He doesn't go over and like grab his legs. He says, rise. And then verse 12, and he rose and immediately picked up his bed and went out before them all. So they were all amazed and glorified God saying, we never saw anything like this. You know, as I thought about this miracle, I was thinking to myself, that's like a lot of miracles I see in the Bible, in the Old Testament. Hey, children of Israel, I'm gonna deliver this enemy into your hands. Now, I want you to march out and fight. And you go, wow, there's so many of them and so few of us. Yep, I got you. Go. Gideon, take 300 men and go. Stretch out your hand. Rise up. See, here's the thing. In the spiritual, in a real way, Jesus says the word, God works. The miracle happens. But we don't see it until we start to walk. Jesus says, rise up. And you know, that guy could have just lain there. Jesus has already spoken. But instead, he takes that step of faith to move his arms, to push himself up, to rise, to pick up his mat. Sure, everybody's looking at him and, and that's got to be a little embarrassing. Hey, did it really work? Am I going to look like a fool? But faith takes a step. My prayer for you, man of church, is that you'll pray and you'll look for God to move and you'll stretch out your heart to him and then that you'll rise up, walk out to battle, stretch out your hands, do the thing, take the step of faith that demonstrates you're truly trusting that God will move. Let's be those people. God bless you, man of church.